Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the best settings you can use for your phone to get the best experience possible in Where Winds Be. Most of these settings, if you're playing on like iOS or Android, are gonna be in the main menu here. So open up the main menu and then you can see the cog wheel. In that cog wheel is the main settings and you pretty much just go to display right here and that tab will have all the options for performance. In the display tab, you'll notice that device load section, and if it's past that black bar, then it's definitely weighing down your device. So the way to fix that is to go down all the way and change the graphics quality from ultra all the way down to power saving. So obviously this will make everything look a little bit worse in the game. If your phone's able to handle ultra and you do like playing with better graphics, I highly suggest you just keep it on ultra or high or something like that but you are able to do custom because this will open up some other options. Out of all these things, the shadow quality is the main thing that's gonna bog down your device. So if you put low for shadow quality, but then everything else up, then you probably will have a really good experience. So in general, if you do wanna get like the fastest possible experience, putting everything here on low is definitely the best way to do it. There are some other things which I'll get to in a second, but some of these graphics quality things don't really bog down your device at all, like vegetation quality, you could just keep this at medium and that won't slow down your device at all. But if you are curious, you are able to like change these one at a time and you'll see the amount of device load that it adds to your device. So maybe you want specific things to be low and other things to be high, but everyone's gonna be coming with a different device here, so I'm making this really general for everybody. The main thing to know is that this device load value is the main thing to watch. Me personally, I really like to have the visual experience, so I like to set it to either quality or ultra, but when it's in ultra, it's definitely obvious that the performance goes down just a little bit. And this is a completely new phone too. Other than visual details, there are some other things you can do here to improve performance. It's so like frame rate over here, you can make it high, ultra high, extremely high, and some phones will default to the medium. Personally, I really like to use high, and I wouldn't really say that medium's bad. Some phones have to use it, but this is a really visual game, so having it on high is really helpful. If you have the option for uncapped, I definitely wouldn't use that just because it could definitely overheat your device. Visual style is also a cool thing to change. It doesn't really change performance much, but it does change like the theme of everything. So it defaults to where winds meet, and you are able to change it to things like intense, or warm, or cool, bright, stuff like that. When you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see the performance center. And if you are having any issues, I highly suggest trying to just test this and go into enable for each of these. Do it one at a time, because this can really significantly improve your performance. Every phone's different though, so I wouldn't say everybody should do it right away, but these modes pretty much just dynamically lower graphics when it needs to. So this will make it a smoother experience while you play. If you change it to lock super performance, it will never let you go on to ultra or high or anything like that. Personally, I wouldn't do this unless you really have to. So you could always try that out if you really want to. So the log suit performance can be helpful, but the problem with it is that you're not able to change other settings like TAA or any kind of quality change that you really want in the game. But if you are having a really big issue with everything, I highly suggest you try that out. Having it on low just like this would pretty much make your device run super efficiently. Other than that, it really does help to change the on-screen player limit to a really low number. So if you are having any other issues, I highly suggest you try that. Now going on over to the game settings, there's some other stuff here to know. First up, the game defaults to touchscreen and you are able to use a controller with your phone. So you can either plug in a controller or use Bluetooth. If you wanna see a guide for that, I'll leave it up on the screen right now and I'll also leave it at the end of the video. It goes over everything you need to know to get your controller connected to your phone, specifically for Where Winds Meet too. Everything in here is pretty much quality of life, so it won't really affect the performance as much. If you are a newer player, it definitely does like recommend you use assist deflection. This just really helps learn the game at the very start of the game. It pretty much will just give you a longer window to do a deflect. But personally, I like to keep it off even though I'm not the best at it yet, just so I can get better. And there's actually a lot more customizing in this too. So if you really wanna change up the settings in the UI, you're able to do the main interface custom layout here. And this allows you to pretty much change everything you want. So you'll see that the UI, I can move around as much as I want. And there's just so many different options here. So like opacity and zoom. So if there is something in the UI that is really bugging you, you could always try this out. So other than in the game, there are some other settings you could do in your phone that would really improve performance. 
So if you have an iOS phone, the first thing you want to look for is in your settings and then go to battery. You never want to be playing this game with low power mode on. The reason why is because it pretty much throttles your device so much, it intentionally turns down the performance in the game. But I would highly suggest if the game is like taking a lot of battery on your device when you're not playing it is to turn this back on. So that can be kind of annoying just because you have to manually go in here and turn it off and on, but that's mostly only for any kind of older phone. And I'd say only do that if you do notice that the phone really drops in battery a lot only when you're not playing the game. Even after you try closing it all the different ways, sometimes having that game even in your phone can do that. But if you're playing the game, just make sure it's off. The next one would be in the general tab. And then you want to scroll down until you get the background app refresh. So now you can see all my stuff has it on, but all you want to do is just turn this off. This pretty much just prevents other apps from downloading while you're playing. Any other process can bog down the game. Next, head back to the main menu and then go down to accessibility. In here, you'll see all these different options, but the one you're looking for is guided access. So it's at the very bottom here and mine was defaulted to off. What this does is that it prevents any kind of notification or call from interrupting the game. Personally, I don't mind too much about this, but it is a way to improve performance. Lastly, if you do really care about the colors, you can go into the display settings and make sure that true tones turned off. This would just make sure that the colors are consistent with whatever kind of style you want to play with. So if you were playing like the warm version of Where Winds Meet on the mobile and then you turn true tone on, it could definitely change all the different colors. So just know that. I don't have an Android here to really tell you everything on Android, but there's three major things you could check. So the first one is Game Booster. Sometimes it's called Game Turbo. All you'd have to do there is just enable Priority Mode or Performance Mode. Sometimes it's a refresh rate area and you can force 120 hertz or high in your display settings. Just don't leave it on auto. And then last, RAM Plus or Memory Extension, just turn that off because storage use in RAM is slower and causes stuttering in high-end games. I love how great this game runs on the phone. It's really cool how you're able to play on your console, your PC, and your phone, and keep all the progress together. A lot of games kind of force you to buy another title or just have completely separate progress. So it's really cool that Where Winds Meet isn't like that. All right, that's it from me. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like, and please subscribe to my channel to see more great Where Winds Meet guides just like this. I have a ton of great guides that you could benefit from, and I just want to help you out. So if you want to help me out, Please give this video a like and subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.